this is Indra working as assistant professor in department of nutrition and dietetics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to uh, learn about the subject quantity food service and physical facilities. Under this the topic is about food buyer. An institutional buyer spends lot of money on behalf of the establishment for the customers. He thus bears a heavy responsibility for well-being of both. Every food buyer therefore needs to possess certain quantities to work effectively. Every food buyer therefore need to possess certain qualities to work effectively such as loyalty to the institution, loyalty to the customers, high moral and ethical values, skilling in identifying markets, negotiate deals with suppliers and establish good food items, accepting food brands that are marked by standardized agencies approving their food such as ISI, FPO and Agmark in India. The functions of food buyer thus may be surprised as keeping records of specification for each type of dish on the menu developed with the help of who prepare the meals, ability to store foods in a manner that will enhance or maintain their keeping qualities, using perishable foods within two days of purchase, rotating use of packaged foods so that the older packages are used first, stimulating specification for all food items. A receiving and storage of a food. It is enough to keep records and place orders for food and materials without the responsibility of receiving and storing the commodities. Receiving and storage of a food are therefore important functions of purchasing. Receiving. An important part of purchasing process is the receiving, storage and issuing of the food and supplies. Once the food materials has been ordered for the supply, they, their handling at time of delivery represent the process of receiving. Once the merchandise has been ordered, all items needed to be thoroughly inspected for specification, mentioned at the time of order and checked against the invoice or delivery slip. Perishable food items are checked for any spoilage. Items required to be countered, measured, weighed and should be properly done. Food items such as canned products should be checked for damage and exposure to high temperatures if any. Also, all inspection related to quality and invoice prepared by the vendor should be in accordance with the purchase order. Sometimes absence of in uh, adequate inspection can be a major pitfall in receiving of a food. A number of precautions are necessary at this stage to ensure that the food is not damaged or discarded because of careless handling, spillage, cross-contamination and incorrect weights or volume. Delivery methods. There are many ways in which food may be delivered to a food service establishment depending on the nature of the food. The fresh vegetables and fruits may be delivered in jute bags, baskets, card cardboard cartons, wooden chest or such as depending on the texture, nature and perishability of the item. Vegetables, carrots, lemon, uh, brinjol and root vegetables can be bagged. Spinach and other vegetables has to be packed as a bundles and kept loosely in basket and tomatoes in a grate for fruits. Vegetables like cauliflower, cabbage, jack fruits or even pilled as such in a transport and delivered. Milk and milk products are generally transported in, in cat, cat, crats if delivered as a pasteurized individual containers. They are now available in food grade poly packs of different size or in cardboard packs of up to 1 liter capacity. Products like cheese may be brought in blocks wrapped in a waterproof packing so also butter oil. Meats can be delivered as a whole carcass or as a different cuts are ordered uh, depending on the quantities involved. Fish. Fish should ideally be delivered in ice boxes or in a freezer. Transport vans to be placed straight in a freezer storage especially when ordered and supplied in bulk. Fresh fish may be packed, cleaned, whole or filtered and is available in all supermarkets or specialized meat outlets. Kebab of fish fingers ready to cook are also available today. Poultry. Poultry is generally supplied as dressed and drawn birds on weight basis and packed in cartons or large sized poly packs delivered in refrigerated vats to establishment. Also available as a part prepared uh, frozen products in the form of chicken cutlets, fingers, kebab, patties and chicken balls which find a variety uh, of uses in small and large catering establishment. Delivery procedure. A number of steps are involved before and uh, before food and ingredient deliveries can take place. 
the supplier gets an order in writing stating the date on which supplies are required he passes it on his store department or purchasing officer the order is then noted to be kept ready for delivery on the specified date it is transported to the buyer's stores for receiving the goods are delivered along with two copies of delivery chalon or notes one signed by the buyer and returned to the supplier in confirmation of having received the goods the invoice or bill is then passed down the accounts department for making the payment thank you